Good morning, my friends. Blessings and greetings from Father Angelo. Today is Wednesday, the third week of Advent. Today's first reading from Prophet Isaiah helps us to reflect on the first commandment. You all know that there are 10 commandments, right? And I hope you know all the 10 commandments because it is important to know the commandments. If you do not know the commandments, how are we going to follow those commandments? God's commandments are for our good and they're important and they must be followed. So the first commandment is, I am the Lord your God and you shall have no other God besides me. So in the first reading through prophet, our God is telling us, I am the Lord, there is no other. I created the heavens. I am the maker and designer of the earth. So God is reminding us that he is the only one true God and there is no other God beside him. It's, it's very important for us to remember that there, are, there aren't multiple gods. There is only one God, the one God he, who created the entire universe, one God who is the creator of everything. But when we come to the Christian theology, uh, we, we have the, the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Uh, the doctrine of the Holy Trinity is the, is the greatest mystery in our faith. And the Holy Trinity, the, the mystery of the Holy Trinity is that there is only one God, but this one God has three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So when we celebrate the Trinity Sunday, we reflect on this mystery. So I'm not going to go into details on this mystery, but just for you to remember that we only believe in one God. And every Sunday when we pray the creed, we say that, that we believe in one God, the creator of the whole universe, creator of the earth and uh, the heaven and the earth. So this one God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is the creator of the whole universe. And he is the one who created us. He is the one who created the heavens and the earth, the whole universe. He created us with great love. Our life, our life is a gift from God, a very loving gift from God. And the beauty of it is that he created us in his own very image, in his likeness. And to make our life beautiful, he created this beautiful earth. Look at the earth, look at our world how beautiful it is. God has given us everything that we need in our life. God has provided us with everything that we need to make our life comfortable, beautiful, and healthy. So that's the way God loves us. And then when we go further in the reading, we see the Lord telling us, turn to me and be safe, all the ends of the earth, for I am the Lord and there is no other. So God is telling us, if we, if we want to be safe, if we want to be protected, turn to the Lord. There is no other God. No one else can protect us. God alone can protect us from all the dangers that is there in this world. Of course, God protects us through different people. Like, like for example, God protects us in our communities through our law enforcement. You know, there are so many people who, who protect our lives. But the ultimate protection comes from God safety comes from God. So he tells us today, turn to me and be safe. When we turn to our God, when we acknowledge him as our God, when we honor him, when we give thanks to God, when we remain faithful and obedient to God, our lives are safe. Our lives are filled with the blessings. Our lives are protected. When we feel unsafe, it creates so many fears in our lives. And when we live with the fear, uh, we don't enjoy the beauty of life. We, we, we miss the beauty and the goodness of life. And therefore, let's all turn to the Lord, for he is inviting us, for he will keep us safe. We will feel protected and we will, we will receive many blessings from the hands of the Lord, for he loves to give us. He's a generous giver. He created us and he, he fills us with all the things that we need in our lives. Today, my brothers and sisters, I invite all of you to, to reflect on the readings and especially focus on the first commandment. I am the Lord your God. There is no other God beside me. In my life, do I honor my God? Do I give thanks to God for my life? Do I give thanks to God for all the blessings that God has given me? Do I give thanks to God for the air I breathe? 
just think about that we we don't we don't think about that most of the times but imagine if there is no air to breathe what will happen to us who provides that god so let's be grateful today for every blessing that god is giving us a lot of which we take for granted so today be a day of gratitude and let us let's give all our praise and honor to our god because there is one god one true god who is the creator of us all and he created us in his own image and likeness he loves us and he keeps us safe let's all experience god's safety god's blessings and god's protection in our life as we continue to honor him as our god and creator let us pray father may the coming celebration of the birth of your son bring us your saving help and prepare us for eternal life grant this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen my brothers and sisters have a wonderful day let's pray for one another and continue to experience god's blessing God's love and presence in our lives. Have a beautiful day. God bless you and I love you very much.